Fourth experiment is factorial of a given number using for loop. So just now we did third program that is sum of n numbers. So same program we can convert into factorial of a number. For that what I can do is I will go to file, save as, first I will save it as sum of n numbers. After that, I will save as one more time. I will save as one more time with the factorial of a number. Factor of a number. So now I will convert this one as factorial of a number. So I will rename it as factorial of a number. Factorial of n. Okay. So sum is what? 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now starting value is 0. Okay. And if you want to find sum of 10 numbers, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. So similarly, factorial of a number is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 5, 6 into like that. Increment is here also 1. Okay. Increment is first you have to multiply with 1. Next you have to increment with 1 into 2. Next 2 into 3. 3 into 4. So, step increment is increment 1. So, plus 1 only. Now, actually here, instead of add, we need to multiply. So, I can show how to convert uh, this one to uh, multiply. Right click here. Replace. Replace this with numeric uh, palette. Change this one to multiply. See now, plus is converted into multiply. Increment here also it is 1. After that, uh, here it should not be 0. For addition, we should start from 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. No? If you take multiplication 0 into 1 into 2 into 3, for all the numbers output is 0 only. You can see now, I will show you. Factorial is coming for 10 also it is coming as 0 only. Because it is multiplying 0 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So, here starting value should be 1. So, uh, double click on this, change it to 1. So, now run continuously. Now, you can see factorial of 10 is uh, 3628800. Okay. Factorial of 0 is 1. Factorial of 1 is 1. Factorial of 2 is 2. Factorial of 3 is 3. 6, 4 is 24, factorial of 5, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 is 120. How it is going to work is, starting value is 1, 1 into, no, so it is going to first multiply with uh, 1 to 1, then increment value is 2, 1 into 2, next 1, into, uh, that answer is actually stored in shift register, for the next iteration, again increment by 1, so next is previous value stored in shift register, that is multiplied with increment value, so into 3. That will be stored in shift register. Again, that answer is multiplied by 4. Again, that answer is stored in shift register. Next time it is multiplied with 5. Okay, when this actually iteration is going to stop is when it reaches the value of the n value. This is the n value. When this increment value reaches the value of n, that time it is going to come out of this for loop. So the we have, you have to give the value of n here. Enter the value of n. It's continuously multiplying with increment value of this and it is going to stop when it reaches the value of n. So this is the factorial of a number using for loop. Okay. So I will repeat how to do this one. Right click here in the front panel, create numeric control and name it as enter the value of n. Right click here, create numeric indicator and name it as factorial of n. We will get this and this. Right click on this. I will show once again. Numeric. Numeric control. See by default it will coming in uh, fraction or decimal point presentation. This you have to change it to integer. It is actually integers are coming in blue color. And one more indicator. 
that also by default it is uh, decimal or fraction convert into and double click and remit as enter the number n factorial of a number after the right click structures for loop okay then right click right click on the uh, for loop add shift register then numeric multiply numeric increment that's all now you connect all like this and one more constant if you want numeric constant now change this one to one now connect all This you have to change this one to fact of a number. So, this is how find a factor of a number using lab view.